Yo guys, it's Vin, and this is my little mini Olgrim guide. Now, I was, I've been asked a few times to do an Olgrim guide, and you may or may not know, I am an Axe main, so I feel obligated to make this video. However, I am not an Olgrim main. By no means am I an Olgrim player. I only have a level 10, and my lance is pretty doo-doo. But I do have enough experience with the Legend and fighting against Legend to give you some tips with his signatures. And yeah, let's just go over his stats first. Speed stance is really the, the main stance you should be using in my opinion. Olgrim has the two decks phenomenon where he can just take away decks to have two and have like insane stats in his other regards. Um, Remy recommends you actually go defense in 2v2. I, I don't really agree. I think that speed is better, but I mean honestly defense is not a bad stance. You really can't go wrong with any of these stances on Olgrim. Strength is okay. It's not really that worthwhile. At least you still have 5 speed, but in my opinion having this 7 speed is really good. And Kosselix actually goes... Dexterity, uh, I he says that end light, delight, or like delight, end light, or something like that on Lance is actually unjumpable on four decks. However, I have not found any of that to be true. You can find you can delab it yourself. Maybe I'm just too bad of a Lance player, but in my personal experience, I don't see any reason to use Dexterity on Olgrim. <laughs> All right, let's go over Axe and Sig. If you hit the full Ensig, it should do 30 damage. Yep, it does 30 damage against this 5 defense Bodvar. It's it strings really well out of Sidelight and Air, and is a really good spiking angle. It also strings out of Sidelight if you don't think they're going to jump. Why is this bot moving so erratically? Yeah, just like that, Sidelight Ensig works really well. I'm pretty sure this doesn't work like this. Yeah, line of sight is not really good on Olgrim with this Sig. You can't really do this too effectively. If you're going to do this, you're going to have to do it um, over here, and even then, it doesn't suck them down to the bottom of the stage like Core does, Core Gauntlet Ensig. So, in my opinion, doing an Ensig like this is not really that good. However, if you're having someone ground pounding you like this, uh, doing a quick little Ensig like that is pretty good. Axe Ensig can also be reverse slide charge. You can't X pivot it, which means you can do stuff like this to get people on the edge. That's also really good. This actually used to hit grounded, which is extremely overpowered. However, it doesn't now, so it's not that broken. Although, in my opinion, it still is one of the best axes in the whole game. As a great hitbox, it's 45 degree angle. Although you already do have D-Light, a great way to use this is actually to like bait people on the edge. Like, let's say you're edge guarding like this, baiting with D-Sig, which we'll talk about in a second. Someone comes up, they can't come right in front of you, because you're just going to hit them with a D-Sig or an N-Light. So they go above you, and then you do a quick N-Sig, not that, N-Sig. Or maybe even a GC Ensig if they're going really high, send them into an edge guard situation. Or if they're on red, it'll straight kill them. Axe and side sig. It does another 30 damage. Oh, it does like 28 damage. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's a two-part sig. I don't believe it's X-pivoted. Yeah, you can't X-pivot this sig. It's a two-part sig. It has almost no startup frames. And although in higher ranks, you're not really going to be catching people with the second part of this Axe side sig, in my opinion, it's really good to just like, as a, like a quick surprise, if somebody misses a move because of its really low startup, let's say this Bodvar does like a really bad falling Sidearm hammer, I just do a quick side sig and it, it has tons of force. Let's talk about Axe D-Sig now. Sorry, I didn't really talk about Axe Side Sig too much. I, I just don't think it's that complicated of a move. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention actually is GCing this move is really good. However, in my opinion, GC D-Sigging off the edge is way better. Let's talk about that now. D-Sig doesn't do too much damage. It does 23.6 damage against this 5 defense Bodvar. However, look at the startup frames. Actually, let me show you this hitbox, by the way. This hitbox is so stupid. It Why does it hit right on Ulgrim? Like, I... <laughs> Okay, um, you can actually clip people on the edge with this. So like, let's say if a Bodvar is standing like right here with their head peeking up on the edge, you can actually hit them with a side sig too. But in my opinion, hitting them with a D sig is better because it'll actually spike them downwards. You can just like run up to people, dash jump, GC D sig is a really good surprise option. Just make sure you're not spamming this because it's really predictable. And it's not really more optimal than just doing side light nares. So this should really mainly be a kill option or a wake up option because it's not doing as much damage as your regular combos. So let's say this Bodvar does like a sword side light and I have a chance to dodge. Do quick do quick GC D-Sig, that will catch really well. D-Sig is also really good if you're doing like edge guards. Like let's say you do dares. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna kill myself here. If your opponent likes to spam jump, a lot of times it's really good to just do a GC D-Sig because if you catch the bottom part of this D-Sig right here, it will spike them really far downwards. 
Another thing that's really good is I said GCing the Sig, but also slide charging. This is basically a giant circle of a hitbox, so if your opponent is coming back to Sage and they have no options, especially after they burn their dodge, doing this reverse slide charge D-Sig is really good, especially on maps with slopes like this. This will kill them immediately because they'll bounce off the stage spike. Alright, now let's talk about the land signatures. I don't think his land signatures are very good. However, just like his other axe signatures, they have very low startup, which doesn't make any sense. Like, it literally makes no sense. He has two decks. I don't know why his things are so fast. So Lance Ensig is actually confirmed if they don't have a dodge out of Scybite. So a big thing is that Lance has trouble killing. And by the way, this doesn't hit grounded anymore, which is something they nerfed last patch. But anyway, something that Lance struggles with is killing. It has a great, really easy time building damage. However, if if they do have a dodge, it ha doesn't have a true kill combo. You're really just going to be looking for falling stairs. So if they don't have a dodge, you can just do a quick side light and say that will catch every single time. Lance Ensig also has a similar property out of like D-Light where you can use it out of read. Just like uh, it has a similar property to Orion Ensig on Lance. It's really good because you can just read out of it. One more thing about Lance Ensig is just like Axe Ensig, it's really good out of stringing out of side light and air. It's literally the same exact thing and it'll kill pretty early. Lance Side Sig is basically the same exact thing as Axe Side Sig, except its hitbox is a little bit higher. So if someone's sitting on the edge like this, you're not going to be able to catch them like that. Axe Side Sig, I mean, excuse me, Axe Side Sig. This is, this, is the, this is the Axe player brain. I keep saying Axe instead of Lance because I, I, when I play Orgum, I just throw away the Lance. I just like Axe. Um, side sig is basically instant. It's a two-part sig, so you're, you might be catching people in lower ranks with a second swing, but in my opinion, again, just like the axe side sig, the best option for this is when someone misses a move really badly, it's an instant punish. It has quite good range, and if you dash across the stage with this, this covers like half shipwreck, so it's really good. Another thing is that this sig is actually really good for reading. So like, I mean, it covers every sideways and downwards dodge. If you just do, it's like a 50-50. So like, let's say I do like this and he dodges in. Dash past him, side take, really good. D Sig does, I'm pretty sure the damage got nerfed of the Sig, so it doesn't do too much damage anymore. This used to like do like 50 damage or something like that if you charged it fully and they ran into it. You can use it really well to bait on the edge. Like, let's say you're doing a bunch of N lights and D lights, and N lights and D lights, you can do a quick D Sig. A lot of times, lower ranks, they'll run into it. And if they don't run into it and they're in higher ranks, you can do a quick N Sig, and that's a really good bait. You can also slide charge it, sort of. And it's pretty good. Just like cross end sig on blasters, you can actually, the moment you let this sig go, you're out of recovery frames. It's not like an emote. Like, let's say you emote like this and you let go of the emote, you're gonna fall all the way to your death. It's not like that. Lance, Lance D sig can actually be stopped like right away. However, you're going to need to hit the slide charge pretty close because your momentum stops basically as you use the move. So if you're going to slide charge this move, you have to be pretty close to the edge already. And one more thing, it's also pretty good for reading. Let's say this Bodvar does a quick in-dodge. D-Sig, we'll catch that. On higher damages, because of this move's high startup frames, it, it will be able to catch, but only in higher damages out of like dodge downs. However, I don't really think that this move is really good for reading because like, again, it has some high startup frames and you actually have, oh my God, I'm terrible at lands. You actually have uh, Lance side sig to catch them, and if you notice, Lance side sig actually does more damage than Lance D sig. So, and it also kills earlier, and it's easier to hit. So, in my opinion, there really isn't a reason to use D sig to read out of side light nair. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little quick Ulgrim mini guide. I tried to cover things that really aren't covered in other people's Ulgrim guides. Not that there are not that there are too many in the first place, but again, I'm not an Ulgrim player. You're not going to be seeing too much in-depth tech in this video. Like I said, it's a mini guide. If I had like a level 50 Ulgrim, yeah, sure, I'd make a complete guide, but I only have them level 10. So anyway, I hope this suffices. And to whoever asked for the Ulgrim guide, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I'll catch you next time. Bye.